Good afternoon, people. Nice and warm in the bar. <laughs> Can't afford the heating. <laughs> right, um, we're going on Green Mountain on the Perfect Draft Pro. We're going in at seven, as advised by Dan, on the new Perfect, well, the latest Perfect Draft release. 4.3%. Yeah, it's a Hazy Vermont Session IPA, so. It's a little bit lower in alcohol percentage. Lovely glass. What a mountains in the back. I've got, sorry, I've got to step over the dog. I'm not drunk. But the dog. There we are. Look at that beauty. That's got a lovely hazy consistency to it, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah, there you are. Kind of cool that glass. That was part of the pack from Beer Oak, which would cost £80 with the two kegs and the glasses. Or you can buy the keg. Obviously, without your discounts at thirty-six pound, thirty-eight pound ninety, I believe. Right, I'll let you take over. You being the okay. Uh, so, Green Mountain is a session IPA. It's a lower volume um, IPA. <laughs> when this first came out, I thought, oh yeah, this time of year, I really want a session IPA. I'm a little bit skeptical whether I'm going to want to do that. I like big flavours at this time of year your box and your Christmas beers, that type of thing. Um, having a look at it, and yeah. You tried the can last week. I we tried the can, because sure. I wasn't sure. But actually, yeah, I thought, that's, that's okay. So we decided to go on this and review it. Looking at it, it's got the four um, hops, which are Amarello, Citra, Galaxy and Mosaic. Um, so I'm expecting some big flavours from this. Alright, let's go and see what we smell. Yeah, I am getting a real hoppiness there. Some tropical fruits. Some citrus. Something almost a little bit floral as well. I look like a bit of a ghost on this. <laughs> We've got this really bright spotlight and it's right in my face. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I agree. Yeah, okay. Let's go in and have a good taste of this. Yeah. It's a little bit smoother, I think, than what I've tried before. Um, I am getting quite a smoothness to that. I'm getting a lot of citrus notes there. I'm getting orange, lemon, grapefruit. But also a little bit of sweetness balancing it out as well. A little bit of maybe passion fruit in there. Yeah, with obviously you've got a major hoppy aftertaste there, haven't you? Which is obviously what you're meant to have. It's a very, it's very clean. Yeah, what I'm finding with this, The hoppiness isn't just that slight kind of bitterness on the end that's you associate with a hoppy finish. There is also a real kind of earthy kind of herbalness, almost floral note to the end of this, which is really working well with the slight bitterness at the end. So you've got those citrus flavours that are really actually quite bursting and, and, and really in your face. I didn't expect for something that was 4.3 session, I wasn't expecting that. I did expect it to be maybe a little bit watery, a little bit bland. Not the case with this at all. No, you were impressed with the can, weren't you? Which, yeah. Well, actually you we were very impressed, weren't you, with the can? To be fair, I was shocked. I just thought, mm, 4.3 session this time of year, no, it's, it's not going to be for me. But this drink actually has a complexity that I just wouldn't expect for something of uh, low volume in alcohol. Because it's not just those citrus flavours, and they are really pronounced at the beginning, aren't they? It's not yeah, just lemon and grapefruit. There's a real zingy orangeness there. Even something a little bit sweet, tropical, passion fruit. Um, it's got a lot of depth for something of 
a lot of volume. <laughs> there's, there's an amazing amount of flavours in there. What really, really strikes me with this is the way the hoppiness at the end is balancing out those tropical flavours, but not in just, it, it's got a bitterness, it's got a hoppiness, it's a really kind of herbally kind of experience at the end there. Um, it's really hard to describe. Like an earthiness there. Yeah, I've got what you're saying. It's um, no one you've been looking forward to, haven't you? Since mm. obviously last the end of, back end of last week, you tried the can. I've got a can here if you want to compare at some point. Yeah, yeah. Rather than me, do two videos. For me, I just absolutely would love this style of drink in the summertime because I thought, oh, it's going to be light, refreshing, floral, and maybe really citrusy. That type of thing. Um, it, it's, it's working well at this time of year, it really is. And plus, with IPAs, you can drink them at the warmer temperature, you don't have to have them freezing cold. This one's recommended at what is it about seven, eight? Yeah. I, would, I would say, yeah. well, anyway, I don't know. <coughs> it's got a bit around that, hasn't it? I don't know what they actually would recommend, but I would think that this would be very good around seven, eight degrees. Um, I'm really quite taken with it. Yes, you can. Now the can I thought, and I'll still say the same. I said the can was more more hoppy. Uh, I don't know. Tell the time side by side. It's going to be really hard for me to tell. So let's have a little bit more draft. But the draft is obviously, as <clears throat> a lot of other people have said, I've had it on cask. Carbonation's draft. nice and fine in this as well. There's enough there to move all them flavours around your mouth, but not enough that it, it feels heavy or gassy. Well, the can was a good introduction for you, wasn't it? Not smelling as good. Um, picking up on more of them deep, rich, kind of floral aromas. In the drop. Interesting, interesting. Whereas with the can, slight tinniness, I always say this, but I do pick up on it. So you've got um, something about cans. Yeah, I have. Um, uh, yeah, and then it's just a, a buzz of citrus, kind of lemony, orangey citrus. Okay, let's try this one. You like the can? I do like the can. They are very, very similar. They are very similar. The carbonation is very similar. The look of them, let's hold these up to the camera so you can really see. You've got the haziness, the golden colour. The look of them is very similar. like there's a little bit more oomph in the draft a little bit more earthiness a little bit more fuller body to it the cow seems slightly more watery but to be fair it's a good representation if you were thinking oh yeah this keg might be for me but I'm not sure I want to get lumbered with a keg where it's something I might not like try the can because it is a very good representation of it This is, this is one where I say they are pretty much much for much. I'd say that's more hoppy, more grapefruity. Mm. It's just got more, it's got a different fruit. I'm picking oh, up a little bit more of that tropicalness in the draft, I think. That little bit more passion fruit, even maybe in the tad of mango in there. There's, there's something a little bit more tropical about the draft. 
like you say, a little bit more just the yeah. citrus in the can. But it is, it's very slight. We read enough, didn't we, for what everyone was saying. If you like the cans, you love the draft. Yeah. Or the cask. The mm. draft goes along with the calf. But like I say, it's a good representation and it gives you a good idea. It does. It, it, some of them, you try the can and you try the uh, draft and you think, oof, you're not going to want the draft because you've tasted that can and, and the can is just awful. That isn't the case with this. It, it's very good. If you enjoy the can, you're definitely going to enjoy the draft. Um, I just think overall, this has been quite a shocker for me as a session IPA, 4.3%. Um, I didn't expect... She's not normally like anything under 5%. No. I didn't expect that fullness of flavour, the, the, the amount of flavour. No, no, it's definitely delivered. No, I want about Jezza, uh, when you broke mm, the 5% rule. Yeah, no, because <coughs> it's, it's amazing when they are lower in percentage, they've still got a good backbone of flavour and taste, and they don't lose anything for being slightly lower. Um, so we're all definitely yes, aren't we? This, this is a really good jest for me. As a session IPA, it's probably one of the most complex with a load of flavours going on that really work well and, and, and bind together and, and make something as a whole really good. I do really like it. Right, so we're on a yes. In, I'm on like, yeah, I'm definitely going on a yes. I'm going on a yes. Um, I'm going it. I rate my beer a nine. Blimey, it it's, it, like it. It, it, it's a nine. And yeah, like I say, yeah, I'm just on a yes. As well, yeah. I'm it, not it. that into IPAs, I want to say. I was, I was massively pleasantly surprised by this one. <laughs> you see? She's happy. Winning. And I can actually drink something that I'm not going to get absolutely plastered on because everything I love at this time of year is really just like rocket fuel. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this is, this is a nice alternative. I'll have to get a Heineken Silver for you. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll pass on that, thank you. Right, yeah. okay. I think we've gone on enough. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bonjour.